sick of the shit. He's sick of the shit. You can do this when you're wearing a uniform. You can get out. He's the force field. Chimoka speaks. When my left testicle talks, I listen. It's my macho playmate with puckers and hair. I call it mocha. The right one is chai. Chai mocha, I say. Let's get in the car and go for a ride. Please don't wear those Levi's. They hurt us, chai mocha pleads. But I do just to piss them off. Black Levi's high and tight. Mocha snivels with every Buick bump. At bedtime, chai slips out of my boxers and asks, why do you hurt us? Well, it's just that you're always making me, it's just that you're always squirting me full of testosterone and making me fight 300 pound men. And I just want to watch TV, but you make me scan for shows about student nurses and women in prisons. And I can't ride a bicycle anymore. What would you be without us? Learn to live with it, Mocha says. And I listen. I drape them over the pink chair and let the wrinkles fall out. Delicate fabrics. <laughs> The Unitard Chronicles. There'll be a Q&A. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Having Doc McAdams here is special to me. And hearing, hearing him blow the didgeridoo. He was uh, my college creative writing professor. And uh, he also advised us a couple very good, very good. When, when we thought the police were after us because the things we had done. <laughs> Yeah, he gave us some credibility too. And we needed that when we started. Did you see there was a lyric okay. to professor's name? Right. Sure. Yeah. Oh, that's that yeah. Cool. yeah. That's right there. Yeah. Oh, my coach Craig here. While riding the Amtrak. Oh. Razor ribbons. Oh, I remember this song. Sometime in the in high school when he wrote While riding the Amtrak on the coast route to San Francisco, I saw it. Some new type of barbed wire. Ribbons of razor blade on factory fence top. I want to see it everywhere. I want to see fallen fingers severed on the ribbons. Digitless delinquents dripping blood. I want to see razor traps for bank robbers. Razor steering wheels for car thieves. Razor pencils for radical riders. <laughs> razor <laughs> transit benches for dozing transients. Razor turns out at theaters. Razor rape decoys. Razor pay toilets, pay phones, cash registers. Razor return of the bottles. Razor, 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 razor. Give us your tired, your poor, your huddled masses. We'll cut them to ribbons. Razor ribbon wrapped around Lady Liberty. I want to see the red blood flowing and covering America like the bleeding red maps showing the spread of communism in the 50s. <laughs> That is great. I remember when we wrote that. We were the young man we wrote that, dude. Yeah, we were in high school. Quickly, uh, college. Early, really? Just started college, you wrote that. The Lemon Pledge. Old poem. <laughs> <laughs> Once there was a monk who took a vow at a coffee table and lived on one for three hours. The other monks waxed it to make it slippery for him. Monks are supposed to suffer. After a while, he rolled over, fell off the table, left, and never came back. Then his uncle came to visit. He said, where's that monk who used to live on this coffee table? He's won a million dollars. But the monk had broken his vow. So the uncle took off all his clothes, put dental floss between his toes, and tried to become the coffee table monk. But he was naked, and his wife got mad. This happened to me twice in 1989. <laughs> These things are comfortable, in case you're wondering. Just <laughs> 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 get excited about that. You're excited about your laundry. I just hope you wore your thong for me. <laughs> you didn't consult anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Mastodon Knights. Move back to the Mastodon Knights of cold breath on the green fern, of warmth found on the beast's breath. Move back. Move to the zoo, to the suburban fool looking at a penned elephant, uh, to the
the man watching sexy programs on Spanish TV trying to learn the language, who will never be able to go back, be breathless, be baiting the mist for the mastodon, the saber tooth, the mercury sable that his sister drives, to escape to take off in a big American car and drive and roam and forget about wife and baby and credit card bills, to feel the breath and fear the mist that is breath without life. And he can see the green mists, the dinosaurs munching the moss and fur, and he sees himself in fur in skins, in pink skin with fat belly and walrus back. Ah, to huff a beard, to grow a beard and never trim it, to run huff gasp and huff huff for more breath. The fog of breath on the mastodon hunt when the cortex wonders at the cage, the central air of the coffee, the cranky creator at the cathode ray tube in the newspaper office, where there are no mists, where the mastodon slayer is mired in tar pits of career and family. He feels primeval. He eyes the office girl and does her in his mind, watching her breathless, topless, twisting, wild-eyed under fluorescent lights. The lights, the imagination. The lackadaisical lakes of passion buried under the oil beds of ferns fermented. The giving, the taking, the taking twice, then giving. <laughs> Back to the mastodon nights when teeth tear the steamy flesh and the trapped beasts are locked in La Brea. And he wakes up screaming, I am not John Carl Bender. I am Brutosaurus Rex Chieftain, mastodon master, the muscle of the mist. <laughs> <laughs>